We're going to start up again. Okay, a definition for you. Tactics, the art of maneuvering against an opponent and toward a specific objective. The art of, of maneuvering against an opponent and toward a specific objective. <clears throat> now, what drives the tactics? The objectives do, right? What's the objective here? Well, we talked about it earlier. We want to find the active shooter. We want to put a bullet in the back of his head. So um, the bad guy, the active shooter, is the one that is determining the tempo right now, right? Because if you hear gunfire, what's attached to every single one of those shots? Person. Ostensibly a person. OK, so every shot <clears throat> could be a kill. So how quickly do you want to attack this guy? Very quick. All right, so let's say we heard shots at the end of the hallway here. And at the end of that hall, we're getting, getting to the end of that hallway. There's like six rooms, eight corners. Are we going to clear every single one of those rooms on the way to get to the act? No, absolutely not. There's no need for that. All right, now are we going to be wary of these corners and doors and things like that. Are we going to be aware of them as we pass them? Of course we are. <clears throat> but the threat is not the architecture. The threat is the person inside the architecture. And right now, that person is giving us a clue of where he is, so we're going to move directly to him. Doesn't mean we're going to ignore everything, but we have an objective that we're moving toward. Understand? Yeah. Okay? Now, if you have somebody that has spent the last 20 years sitting on their butt, uh, clicking a keyboard, and uh, you come out to a class that I'm teaching, it's a fitness class, and I take you out to a 100-yard hill, it's 100 yards straight up, you know, nice 10-degree incline, I go, okay, we're going to sprint, let's go. <laughs> How many steps do you think you're going to get before you rip an Achilles or a hamstring or, you know, pull your butt muscle or what, what do we think? You're not going to do very well. Right. So we have to approach a incremental learning process. Crawl, walk, walk with purpose, run, and sprint. All right, so the best way to learn how to negotiate these obstacles is starting off slowly and then picking it up as we move. All right? <clears throat> so uh, don't think that I'm teaching you to hunt for the burglar while there's an active shooter in place, that's not what I'm doing. What I'm teaching you is how to negotiate these architectural obstacles safely so that when the time comes, you can blow past them, doing everything that we're doing here, but with a greater intensity and, and, uh, and drive. Okay? Everybody got that? All right. The first one that we're going to talk about is uh, a corner. Now, there's the basics of CQB. Apply to a building. Every building you go to in the Western world and pretty much everywhere on Earth has these uh, issues on the inside. We can all we can say windows too, I suppose, but we're not going to do much with windows. Corners, doors, rooms, hallways, and windows. Uh, and so, by by learning the characteristics of all of this stuff, you can move through them quickly toward your objective without putting yourself at risk. Now, what is the risk? The risk is that there's a bad guy over there shooting, and you have a corner effect right here, and if you're drawn to that threat, you ignore what's in this corner, could there be another bad guy there set up as an ambush? Sure. Has it happened? Yes. So that's why we want to be wary about how we move and how we negotiate through these structures, all right, so that we know where the danger is and, and how to maneuver around it, okay? All right, now, <clears throat> corners, this is the bad guy, this is the good guy. The way this was taught in the past a lot was <clears throat> the good guy would, would clear this way, right, up until this point here, right? Some of you have seen this before. And each little step is a what? A slice of the pizza, right? Okay, and you know, a sidestep, and another sidestep, and another sidestep in a very tentative way. Now, 
the idea is that, or the, the goal is, the hope is, and we're going to be doing this hands-on, so you know, you don't need to worry about if you can't see exactly what's going on. Okay, the hope is that as, as the good guy is moving, okay, every step that he takes, like right here, he can see into this area here. So all this area here, he owns. He doesn't own anything here. <clears throat> so he'll move to this position and then clear a little bit more. So he just bought himself a little bit more space. And then he bought himself a little bit more space. And then he bought himself, you know, you get the idea. Now we get into this area here. This is kind of a gray area, okay? Uh, and the reason is because the bad guy is not an idiot. He's not leaning up against the wall, okay? You know, his 8K slung across his back, smoking a crack pipe, okay? He could be just as alert, just as tactical, just as intent on accomplishing his mission as you are. Remember what I said, don't underestimate your adversaries because they're not underestimating you. <clears throat> so as a good guy enters this area here, okay, he has seen some of this area here. Has he seen the bad guy yet? No. Potentially, has the bad guy seen him? No. Potentially. If he gives another inch, the bad guy sees him. Does the bad guy care about marksmanship? No. No. He doesn't care. He'll start shooting right into this corner if he's armed with a rifle. What are the odds that some of those rounds will make it through the corner and hit you? Okay? All right, so what I want to identify is I want to identify this hard line right here. This is basically a visual extension of the wall the bad guy is up against. Okay? Now, slightly off of that, I'm going to say about five degrees. Now, that's, if this is not a science. All right? I, I, want, to, I want to make sure you understand that. Uh, the integrated act of shooting, aligning the weapon on target, seeing the dot on the bad guy, staging the trigger, breathing, breaking the trigger, that is a closed loop. You understand? Okay. Tactics is always an open loop. Because you can say, I'm going to do the corner this way. And you can, do the you can go into this empty building and spend a weekend here moving through an empty building following the process of taking a corner, following the process of taking a door, with no outside influence of any sort, and will you be successful? Yeah, eventually. You will, because there's nobody here, right? But the minute we add that other element, the other side, we open that loop, this becomes an art and not a science. Putting, it at, putting a round in a bad guy's ear canal from 15 yards that is a science. There's a way to do it. There's a process. If you follow that process, you will be successful. <clears throat> this has a process, but it has to be an adaptable process. Because not every corner is the same, not every door is the same, not every hallway is the same. And not every bad guy is the same. Some may have knowledge of this. Now look, we have been at war now for how many years? 21, 22 years? Okay? Is everyone that has ever served the U.S. military a good guy? No. Are there bad guys that served in the U.S. military that have shot the enemies of America and now are here and for whatever reason or another have decided to become your adversaries? Do they know this stuff? Yes. Yeah, they do. Okay, of course they do. So what I want to point out, I'm going to change the color here so we, we illustrate this is this five degree no man's land, okay? Right here, all right? <clears throat> you can't afford to set foot in there, okay? Not in a tentative incremental manner. The minute you decide to look beyond what you already have, you have to move in a very dynamic, <coughs> direct, and forceful way. Okay? <clears throat> Here's the other thing. This can be an elliptical movement of sorts, right here. Right? And I'm going to show you how to do it. <clears throat> when you take from here on out, from, from this point here, you can't do an elliptical line like you did before. Why? You increase your exposure to the bad guy. It's very easy for him to track an elliptically moving target. 
So what you want to do is, you know, you let's say you start right here, you have to move in this line. Okay? So in this context, your bad guy is at 12 o'clock, you're moving to the 1 o'clock. <clears throat> it's counterintuitive because you're not moving away from the bad guy. <clears throat> but this angle is creating a greater distance from his gun muzzle to you. And we'll show you that in a few minutes. Okay? <clears throat>